We all know that the Linux kernel has support for the trusted platform modules or trusted computing. And in today's show, I'm going to show you how to detect whether or not your computer has those modules, and if they do, how to block them. All of that begins right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. This is for those of you who are paranoid about these trusted computing modules that are available and uh, how to check your computer and see if they're in there and disable them. Now, we've already come to the conclusion that trusted computing can actually do more harm than good, especially since many of the people that will be employing this in proprietary software will be doing so for their own malicious, self-serving purposes. and doing nothing to really provide any benefit to you. Trusted computing is a great thing when you are in control of it, but when somebody else is in control, they're taking your freedoms away. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, have a look at some stuff before we begin. All right, first, let me uh, navigate over to my other desktop here. I went ahead and I pulled up a page uh, on the uh, Ubuntu forums. And pretty much this exercise today can be done on any Linux computer. And uh, interesting topic they have here, trusted computing must be stopped. And uh, they gave some commands on some things that you can do to uh, check if you have these modules installed and then ways to remove them. So let me go ahead and uh, minimize this. All right, and let's go ahead and open up a terminal. Okay, and here in the terminal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to issue a simple command, lsmod. And then I'm going to type in pipe, grep, and then TPM. Now, as you can see, it did not find anything on my computer. Now, I've tried this with all of the computers that I have in the house, and luckily, it wasn't able to find anything. But uh, I did notice, uh, as I was reading through the forums and reading other uh, things online, that there have been people that did have a listing that would appear. So if you look here, uh, you will see you may actually get an output that says something like this, tpm underscore infion. Uh, TPM uh, 19616 TPM BIOS. So if you were to get this, you could issue a command in your terminal that says sudo rmmod TPM, and then of course a command to sudo rmmod uh, TPM underscore BIOS, and then TPM underscore Enpheon. Now, to make this permanent, though, you can actually use your favorite text editor and make a block list. Okay, so why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and uh, this is the file that we want to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and run sudo, get it, and then the name of the file, control shift B for me to paste this, and the file that we are going to be editing is slash etsy slash modprobe.d slash blacklist. Press enter. It's going to ask for the password. Okay, and you'll see I don't have anything in my blacklist right now. But what you would do is, in this case, is you would uh, put this information in here based on whatever output you have. So I put a pound and then mark down what it is I'm blocking. Okay, we've got a pound, uh, TPM shiznits, all right? And then everything that would be in that particular listing. For instance, you would blacklist the TPM Infion as we have in the example here for the output. You would blacklist TPM and then you would blacklist tpm underscore bios and then you would press file and then save and it will save that information and then the next time you boot into your computer it will block those tpm modules for you now uh i haven't been able to find much more on this subject 
But the thing is, it's my hope that some of you seeing this may have some other suggestions on things that people can do to block these uh, trusted platform modules. So if you know of any ways to block them, put them in the space below for the benefit of the community. And uh, if it's, you know, and if you even know of different ways to search for uh, trusted modules, that's uh, something you could also add. Now, something I'd like to also point out before closing here is the fact that some of you may be able to turn on TPM or trusted platform modules in your BIOS. And uh, in order to be able to do this, you would have to have an administrator password set. Now, in all of my computers, I checked the BIOS and I did not see an option for this. Okay, but some BIOS, maybe in more modern computers, especially computers shipping <coughs> Windows 8, these probably already have those modules in there, but you don't have the ability to shut them off unless you do so through the operating system. The only issue with this is using a closed source operating system means that sure, you could shut them off, but what is to stop them from going into your system and reactivating them remotely, or maybe installing a piece of software that will reactivate those modules? At least in Linux, you'll know that when you shut these modules off, they're off for good unless you turn them on and you're using them for your own purpose and not some software giant selfish purpose. That's all I've got on this one. We'll see you next time. Music